With the development of more targeted therapeutic models, biobanks are increasingly recognized as a crucial infrastructure for research. SmartBank offers the functionality of a standard biobank while also providing the researcher with a wide range of integrational and analytical possibilities. We would like to invite you to watch this video and see how it can assist your work. Log into SmartBank using your individual login ID and password. Click to log in. The main screen shows you your options. Managing patients, samples, or accessing the research center. SmartBank has a customizable user interface. You can change the background or the main theme easily to better suit your taste. Now, let's go into the heart of the program, starting with a patient module. All patients in a given project have an identification number. Unmarked fields represent patients whose data has not yet been entered. The blue mark in the upper left corner means that some information has already been entered, while the green mark shows those patients where the basic required information is already available. To create a new patient, click on an empty slot. As slots have previously been assigned to the place where the sample had been taken, the map already shows this location. To create a new patient, click on Add. The patient now is successfully created. From this window, you can open the newly created patient, add a new one, add a patient to the next empty slot, or start entering the medical records of this newly created patient straight away. Alternatively, you can simply close this window and the new patient is moved to the incomplete group. Now to carry on with entering the data from here, click on the newly created identification number. The appearing profile window provides you with information about the location and the patient category. This is where you can delete the patient or you can jump to the next or the previous patient if needed. What we want to do now, however, is start filling medical information related to this patient. So let us click on Add in the relation to medical record. This is a sample medical record that you see on the screen. In this example, we first enter some basic personal information. The same form can be used to record information about patients and controls. As information about medical conditions is only relevant to patients, these fields only appear if you choose patient as a record type. In this example, we follow with entering relevant medical information. The number and content of the different forms that are related to a particular patient are completely customizable and can be easily adjusted to your own project. By clicking on Save, you have completed the creation of a medical record module. To check on what we have just done, you can open the medical record by clicking on the Open Medical Record button. Go back to the main patient window by clicking on Patients on the right side of the screen. Apart from the table view that you have just seen so far, patients can also be displayed in the list view for your convenience. The list view might be more manageable if there are a large number of patients. Let us now examine the second main module, Samples. There are currently nine samples listed in this demo. All columns are customizable according to the type of samples and the requirements of the project. The column headers are also clickable, enabling quick sorting by category. Let us now add a sample by clicking on the plus icon. As with a patient form, this form is also entirely customizable. Start filling in the form by entering the sample ID. Setting the position of the sample in the freezer is an important part of the data entry. To do this, simply click on an empty slot, marked in blue, in the table. In most cases, only part of the sample is used for a particular experiment. The rest will be stored in another container. SmartBank lets you allocate a position to the remaining quantity right away. When you have finished entering the information, simply save the form. The sample now is successfully created. Similar to the patient module, this pop-up window allows you to open the newly created sample and add a new one or add a sample to the next empty slot. As a result of this new sample creation, our sample list has been extended by two new items under the same ID number, a new DNA and a new plasma sample. You can check the details of a particular sample by simply clicking on it in the list. Just like patients, samples can also be displayed in a table format.
In this view, samples are shown as they are stored in the container. After returning to the main menu, let us have a look at the third main module, the Research Center. There are four main tools within the Research Center, Patient Map, Timeline, Search and Filter, Statistics, and Report. The Patient Map is a relatively simple tool displaying the locations where the sample had been taken. The size of the circle on the map is proportional to the number of samples taken at the given location, the center of the particular circle. Sample distribution is not only displayed by location, but also by patient type. The timeline shows when the samples have been taken and when the corresponding records have been entered into SmartBank. Although on this demo, time is displayed in months, you can zoom in to shorten the displayed period to weeks or even days. Searching and filtering is the part when things get really interesting. In this demo, we first show you how to create a new criteria to filter by sex and find all women in the database. To start filtering the complete database, click on the Add Criteria button. You can pick one of the properties from the list or simply start typing a criteria. SmartBake immediately narrows the original list as you type. Let us pick females and click on the Build Criteria checkmark. We can immediately see that there are currently 69 female patients in the database. Let us add a second criteria. This time, we do not start typing, but pick record type from the list. Let us choose patients over controls and build a second criteria. Our third and fourth criteria are age related. Let us suppose we are only interested in patients who are more than 24, but less than 45 years old. The arrow button next to the cross allows you to create combinations of the different criteria. A certain color will be immediately assigned to each chosen criterion. After selecting the required criteria, click on the combinations icon to display the particular segments. The displayed pie charts show all possible combinations of the selected criteria. The meaning of the colored areas are the same. The only difference is the number of individual criteria displayed in the chart. We now select three different patient sets to add to statistics. By clicking on a pie chart, we can include the related criterion to the list from which the statistics will be generated. Based on the results of the filtering, we can create statistics. We can simultaneously visualize a maximum of four different criteria groups if needed. In this demo, we do three at a time. The selected criteria groups are listed on the left panel. Click on the arrow button at the selected criterion to add it to the statistics. To select a property for visualization, click the button onto the top of the screen. In the demo, we examine marital status as a property in relation to the previously selected criteria. The chart shows the distribution of the previously defined segment along marital status. While pie charts are convenient to display results consisting of discrete numbers, there are also several continual values stored in the biobank. SmartBank uses box plots to visualize continual values. Change the property by clicking the top button again and selecting a new item from the list. For demonstration purposes, we pick age as our newer property. Apart from visualizing the values, SmartBank automatically calculates and lists important descriptive statistics. These are obviously only examples of what the statistics module can do for you. This tool enables you to establish hypothetical connections, prove or disprove relations between any variables. The combination based on freely picking criteria and properties are only limited by your imagination. We finish our demonstration by logging out of SmartBank. For more information, visit the Astrid website at www.astridbio.com or contact our team. We will be happy to help you.